Well, hello. It's been a while since I did another video. It's Friday, I believe the 20th, 2020. Um, I've got some very good news that I've been listening to from the prophets that are out there. Uh, one, his name is uh, Tracy Cook. Um, I get them off of uh, uh, Sid Roth. Have y'all ever heard of Sid Roth? He's an investigative reporter, and um, he does ISN, which is um, uh, something, Supernatural Investigating Network, ISN or something like that. Anyway, um, what I've been hearing is that uh, this coronavirus is going to end um, it's like a shakening. Um, China's been doing a lot of horrible stuff to the United States of America. God is not happy about it. Uh, the Chinese supposedly made this virus, and it got out of control from what I'm hearing. Now, I don't know if this is all true, but I do know that um, the United States of America... Our president, Donald Trump, and um, the C, uh, CDS or CC, whatever, they know about this uh, medication that was uh, built back 50 years ago for a different virus. But they're finding they're going to they're finding out that it's going to cure this coronavirus. So hopefully it works. I don't know. They're going to try it. Um, but from what I'm hearing, uh, in April, April the 15th-ish, 15th, 16th, 17th, it's around Passover. And that's when this coronavirus is going to just going to disappear. It's going to go away. It's going to get warmer. And it's going to disappear. Now, this is actually considered a shaking. God supposedly is shaking us, the church. His church, which is us, we are his church. And he wanted us to know that he is still here and he's alive and well, and he is working his, you know, for us. He's got our backs. Now, um, if you have other gods that you're, you know, going after or believing in, you need to get rid of them. Because God is not in the mood right now. He's in the mood to shake. And I've told you guys this before that he was going to do some shaking. Well, I'm finding out that this, this coronavirus is like a shaking to wake everybody up. And to let you know, it's time. You need to choose good or bad, period. There's no more time. Time is up. Um, Jesus loves you. And so does God. But it's time. No more messing around. No more saying, nah, I'll wait till next week. Or I'll wait till something. What else do you need? More shaking? Because that's what he's going to do. Especially if he chooses you to be a prophet. I am not a prophet. I have been considered a, a seer as a child. I did see um, a lot of demonic uh, behavior and a lot of demons um, as a child. Uh, ghosts and all that other stuff, they're all demons. Just remember that. They're all demons. Uh, if you think that you see your relative that just passed on, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Your relative is gone. Their body's still here. Maybe it's cremated or in the ground. But they're not going to be put down in the ground with their soul in there. That's just wrong. If you think about it. It's be like burying you alive. And you, God doesn't do stuff like that. So just think that absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Okay, and we have already got, if you believe in Jesus, you've already got a piece of you in heavenly places because you and Jesus, 
have already exchanged. Jesus gave you a part of him and he got a part of you. So just keep thinking about all that. But this is just a shaking just to get people to wake up. He's not playing around anymore. He is a good father, but he does allow certain things so we can get shaken and woke up. I don't know if y'all noticed, but children, none of them were affected by this. All children go to heaven. There's no children in hell. None. And I don't know if the age is like maybe, what, at 10 and below? I don't know. But that's what I'm assuming. But I could be wrong, you know. I consider a child to the age of, I don't know, 12, maybe. But anyway, no children go anywhere but heaven. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, the good news is Trump will be elected again, okay? And God wants everybody to recognize he chose him for a reason. He cannot be bought. You can't change his mind when he's got it set. He is not going to fall for any of these demonic or demons or whatever you want to call them. Even uh, anyone that's against him needs to stop. This is a very, very strict warning. Stop it. If you don't have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. This is God's choice. And if that is even a, a tad true, you should be listening to what I'm saying. Do not upset your father. He does bless. He does love. But if you had read that Bible, he can also curse, not just you, but generations after you. Now, you can also break, if there had been some kind of, uh, let's say, bloodline uh, curse that came from way back in the day that's in your bloodline, ask God to break it. Break it because now in this this age that we're in right now, the kingdom age, and it's 2020, and it's actually a jubilee, which means uh, 50 years is a jubilee. And everything that you've lost within the last 50 years or whatever should get restored. But you've got to go by his Ten Commandments. Remember, he only gave us ten. He could have given us more than that, but he didn't because he knows better. We're humans. We have a will. And our will, we need to give up to Jesus. Our destination on this planet, the reason why we were all handpicked to be here at this point in time, is to get darkness out of our cities, out of our neighborhoods, out of our families. You just tell it to go. It has to leave. We have dominion over him, over his little demons and demonic stuff, that baloney crap. We have dominion over him. He don't want you to know that. He's scared because he knows his time is coming and it's going to be over with soon. God is not playing anymore, people. I'm going to tell you this one more time. Get your house ready. Get your life ready. Most people are not going anywhere right now because we're kind of quarantined because of this coronavirus. Which is being actually another, it's a shaking. And I know that sounds horrible. But God sometimes allows this kind of stuff to allow us to, to let us know that he's really serious. Not too many people in the United States, I think maybe 200 and some, but we've had more than that with just a regular flu that has passed away. So it's not as bad as everybody's saying it is, but I have heard that the, that the, the China did this 
They are the ones that created it. And I believe it got out of hand. And now look, Italy, everywhere, everywhere, all around the world now, everybody's in a crisis because of China. Now, see, China does not want Trump in there anymore. And then I hear that China actually want, was going to, was telling Trump, well, if, if you're going to tell the whole world that it's our fault and cause and say it's the Chinese, uh, virus that, uh, since 95% of our, uh, pharmaceutical, uh, medicine comes from them, that they're going to screw with it. Ah, uh -uh. no. Trump's going to stop that real quick. We're going to have it manufactured here in the United States. We don't need threats like that. We don't need that. And we don't need this shaking for, because of their stupidity. And that's exactly what it is. Stupidity. They're obviously up to something. I'm not sure what it is. And I haven't been told anything, but I know that they are in a little bit of a trouble right now. And uh, so are some of the other uh, other nations out there that are not taking heed. They're not woeing. They're not listening. Okay, that's all I have to say. I've been in my apartment right now for for a week now. Uh, I have no symptoms, but. I don't want any either, and uh, I, I, I'm not afraid, and that's one thing I do need to tell you. Fear is the opposite of faith. If you had faith, you would not be fearing you're going to get sick. I just stay home because I hurt when I get out there and walk around. It hurts me. I have a horrible back. I messed it up really bad. And plus the COPD that I was born with issues with my lungs. So I don't, I don't do anything that I don't have to. But I have my own place now. I am happy. God, this is what God gave me and I'm happy. He knows what I needed. Just something simple that, that's big enough for me to have some company and me and my cat. And that's all I need. And I got it. Thank you, Father. Well, anyway, I would like to, um, I know I didn't start out like the prayer like I normally do, so we can do that now, okay? Here we go. Close your eyes and say, Father, thank you for another day of life. Father, fill me up with your triple abundance of grace. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. There you go. We did it. So, anyway, I'm going to let you go. I know this is going to be a short one, but uh, here's my cat. Look. Let's see if you can see her. Oh, here's my kitty. Chloe. Chloe. Looky, looky, looky. Here's my Chloe. Did you see my Chloe? Anyway, that's my baby girl. I'm going to let you go. May God bless you. God bless our president and our government. God bless all my enemies. And God, please bless all the Jewish people out there that their destiny gets done. And they all go home where they're supposed to and for God. And do what God needs them to do. I pray that Jerusalem makes it. And it and, and God is happy. I want to go home someday. And I would love for God to say. I am very proud of you. My child. That's what I want to do. Now I don't know about anyone else that's watching this. But that's what I want to do. Okay. This is Janet Force. I'm signing off. I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you so much. God bless America. Goodbye.